Hello and welcome back everyone to our 10th episode of Let's Play Satisfactory. Now, I'm going to have to apologise, as with this whole Let's Play series, it would seem we've had some issues, so uh, both the pre-recorded uh, 10th episode and 11th episode that I needed to edit together has been deleted, um, transferring it from my laptop to this computer. I don't know why, um, but we've had some issues, so unfortunately... Uh, what's happened over the last two uh, episodes has kind of been skipped out. So we're going to cover that briefly. We're also going to work on the observation tower today um, and hopefully bring it all together to keep you up to speed along with what's happened in the Let's Play um, live stream, the unofficial live stream uh, that we've been doing this week. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get started. To start off, you will all be very happy to know that finally after everyone asking for it in the live stream that we have just about, or finally, shall we say, finished off building the, uh, well, researching the Blade Runners. So, future live streams in this game, we're going to be much quicker. We're going to build them really quickly. So, at last, we can actually build two pairs, should we want them. But at last, we have built some Blade Runners. So, let's equip them. And, uh... There we go, we've got a little bit of a boost. And the next thing that we need to do is sort out this. Um, it's gonna take us a little while. So, from up here, we've uh, first placed some of these um, inverted ramps. I need to go and get some more um, concrete now. We've been placing these around like this on the outside, followed by one of these large um, uh, foundation pieces and then the uh, downward uh, or upward double ramps uh, which have been really useful and it's given this cool look. The next thing that I'm just going to do now is delete all of these um, and hopefully replace them with something a bit more uh, less bulky just so that we've got a bit more room inside. I don't know whether we're going to do it with uh, walls or if we're going to add something like a, a ramp oh, or we could play around with these. I'm not sure how they'll look on there. That could look pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to do that actually. Now once again, we've uh, replaced all of this. I'm liking the inside. Um, I'm liking this whole kind of bowl shape. So I think we're going to get rid of these now and have it as one central area where everything can come up into, like a bowl. And then from there, it will go up again. Fingers crossed. This may turn out terrible. <laughs> Okay, I don't think it's perfect, but I'm liking it. So we can bring some hypertubes up into here. Um, and then we need to work out how to go further up into the actual oh, kind of observation section. So, as you can see, we have come on a little bit. Uh, we've done up here like a dome. Uh, in fact, we can get over there and you can see from the inside so coming back here you can see um that nothing here has changed We've, oh except for removing the stairs and then going up here we have the first observation level we can actually delete these now Gives us a nice view of this level. And then we can actually go round. This is the only thing that's really changed so far. Um, up here. Oh, look at my uh, Blade Runners. Kind of just hold them on the side. I hadn't noticed that. Well, I didn't have them before. Um, and then in here we have the main room. I wanted to do some kind of walkway up here. But unfortunately, um, if we just do this. We can't actually place it on the end um, because it's halfway in the center. It's not allowing us to go over here, grab one of these. Just cannot place them on here, which is really annoying. I'd really like to be able to, I suppose we might be able to add railings or not. It would have been nice to have railings along the, uh, the middle part. 
Um, but this is all closed off and then eventually once we unlock a radio tower we will have to place that popping out from up there and uh, overlooking everything along with the top observation post. And then we're going to need to do something with hyperloops but we'll save that for another day. So what happened over the last two episodes was um, building a hyperloop and discovering oil. And as you can see over here, this was the first um, kind of minor oil factory. We were just using this, uh, these two oil pumps uh, to run this, um, just to give us like a head start. And then I decided to work along uh, with the idea of having each um, running at 100% plus possibly, I think this one with an overclock um, would be able to run this 100%. Um, to the to the clock speed of these refineries and so we have plastic being created on the left and then rubber on the right um, obviously I'm still playing around with this and a big issue that I've found is that unless you're using the fuel it stops the production of the plastic or the rubber um, which could be an issue later on so we need to find a way of um, continuing production here like I mentioned we do have um, plastic and fuel being created here. I think it's fuel. Um, heavy oil residue even. So plastic and heavy oil residue and on this side it's rubber. If we go down here you can see that we have the crude oil being transported this side. If we pop down here. Ooh, it's getting a bit, a bit tight. And we have the oil running along and across and it's equally split and then we have the plastics coming down and along here which then go to the computers um, the issue again is the fact that these are saturated so we run out of plastic quite often um, if we very quickly uh, actually flush the whole pipe network you'll see quite quickly that we start to produce plastic there you go and so from here the plastic is brought up Uh, along with the rubber. I've yet to do anything with the rubber, but I'm sure we'll work out something soon. The plastic's going to come along here and under the factory. And then I'm still working on this. Please um, forgive the clipping here. Uh, we were just working on something in a live stream. And then we also have. Oh, why has this stopped? I might have to sort this out. Oh, because <laughs> that is the reason why. Always forget to do something as simple as that. Let's just check these uh, on copper wire. But then we have the circuit boards coming along to this manifold where it will drop into three uh, manufacturers. Then we also have the um, plastic that's required, the cables which we were creating, and last but not least we need to sort out the screws. Now we have the, the the miners ready, we just need to work out where we can place them here. Now if we have a look, we're create, producing, let's see how many we need. So screws, we're running 130 per minute across three manufacturers, so that's 390 we need to, per minute. We can produce 40 screws per minute per constructor, so we're going to need, without overclocking in mind, we're going to need four constructors creating screws. Of those four constructors, let's grab a constructor, we're going to need, if I remember it rightly, it's 10 rods per 40, yeah. So we're going to need 100 screw, uh, iron rods being produced a minute, which is 1537. So we're going to need seven constructors producing um, iron rods, and then we're going to need a further 10 producing screws. So we have an option. We can either run, I think we could possibly run actually, four constructors along here and see if we can directly split it and bring it up. I think it's a bit too tight, really. And then we can bring this conveyor around. Oh, but we need 
it would help if we actually smelted the iron ore first. And then this one we'll place here. A little bit of healthy clipping. We don't need that. We can just do it like this. So if we go to there, go back two places and then across. There we are. Perfect. Then we need to merge them together. Just because we like to struggle. Um, if we do it this way, we can then bring it back around on itself. So... We go along to here, then back to delete them. Three. This is super tight. I am actually rather impressed that I've managed to do this. Um, one, two, bring it in. So now that we've got the five, con uh, seven constructors connected, so the three here and the four from over there, um, they're all running along this manifold line. And uh, the next thing, I need to pick up some more uh, resources. I'm pretty much out. Um, but we're going to have two lines of constructors running along here. I can place, what, five? That so will start off. Uh, this might not be the exact position, it's definitely not, not for my liking. Um, but we're going to do it so that we have five one side and then five the other. Like that. Okay, so I thought I should mention that on the way back, I got sick and tired of waiting, like struggling to get up and down into the factory. So we've just built this very quick uh, entrance. I didn't realize originally this was much faster. We uh, had like a Hyper 2 cannon with um, four um, entrances to speed it up. But unfortunately, if you have multiple um, entrances, you can't actually get out if you uh, use it as a two-way system. So maybe later on we'll install this, well, reinstall it with a, a faster um, entrance. But for now, um, we'll keep it as a one way, uh, as a two way operation. So we are almost back here. There we go. Uh, we just need to run around to the computers and I'll show you what we've done. So it is that we have screws coming out through here, then they go behind, through here, up, and then they get transported up along here in this bus and heads up to the manifold where it can then go into here. Would help if we did that. Oh, that's what I needed to go get the supplies for. So there's that one and... And uh, that's done, yeah. So now we should be able to look here. We have the 10 second boards being created. The cables are fine. Yep, so we've got all of this. The only issue is the plastic, but as soon as we unlock fuel, we'll be able to do that. And then we have the two buses of screws being produced. Uh, one will go up this way, down and around, up through here and connect in the middle. And the other one will go the other side and then connect in the middle. So we're just going to very quickly um, select these as screws and then connect it all up. And then we'll watch the first computers being uh, produced. So the factory is coming alive and as you can... Have I not set this? I don't think I've set this yet. There we go. Iron. Iron. Something very relaxing just watching things on a conveyor belt. Um, but we can follow this. Cut into the new biome. <laughs> 
Um, and then we're going to have more rods connecting, joining this line, along with our first screws. From here they'll go round. Oh, the first screws have already gone. And then, oh, you know what is an issue? That's all working. We're just going to flood the fuel line. I don't know why it's all... Just takes no time at all to, like, re-saturate. Um, but we do need to get the computers before we can store the fuel anywhere. So that's the main issue at the moment. Right, so the last thing that we need to do here is just to have some kind of storage um, system for them in place so that they don't... Uh, just um, saturate inside the machine. So we're just going to um, do a very simple thing for now. We're going to place down a merger here. Connect these up. Yeah, that's connected. Same over here. And from here, let's bring it down so it's parallel. Hmm. Take it along here. Obviously, this does need like resolving at some point. Um, but for the time being, it will do. Oh, thankfully we have a dust the uh, resources required for the storage unit. And so now we have our first computers being manufactured. Fantastic. There we go. Um, it's a bit of a quick fix. A bit of a quick fix for the time being, but it will certainly do. So there you are, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It was just a little bit of an episode. Um, obviously, sorting out the computers, working a bit on the uh, central observation tower, com centralized storage area. Um, but oh, that's an interesting. I hadn't noticed that. The little, oh, it doesn't show it there, but if we block out, you can see that it's kind of got a odd kind of mirrored shadow. Um, but yes, one, now that we've done all of that, we can uh, start to focus on fuel, getting fuel generators up and running, and subsequently sort out our fuel section. And uh, also unlock, hopefully, sooner rather than later, Caterium so that we can build some smart computers, um, smart splitters, sorry, so that we can really get to work with our centralized storage area. So, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this Let's Play episode, please do drop a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe as we have plenty more videos and live streams coming over the next few weeks. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. And as always, ciao for now.